Convolution is a mathematical process which has applications to measurement systems. Imagine that we have a screen with an aperture through which we shine light. We want to determine how the screen transmits light. In this case, the illumination is uniform, and so the transmission profile or function has a rectangular shape. We could determine the screen transmission function by taking a light detector, in this case the red line, and moving it across the screen. At each point we record the measured light intensity and then plot this intensity against horizontal position. Here we're assuming a one-dimensional problem for simplicity. If the width of the detector is much smaller than that of the aperture, the measured result is to a very good approximation the true transmission of the screen. However, we may not have a narrow detector. If the width of the detector, in this case the red box, is comparable to that of the aperture, then the output will be distorted. Initially, as the detector moves across the aperture, only part of the detector is illuminated by light coming through the aperture, and so the detector signal gradually increases. Once the detector fully overlaps the aperture, the signal has a constant value. Instead of, measuring, instead of the measured signal having a rectangular form, there are sloping sides. The measured signal now is a distorted form of the true function. In this case, with two narrow apertures, it is almost impossible to see in the measured signal that there are two distinct apertures. Here the measured signal is a very distorted form of the true signal. In many measurement systems, what we measure is not the true function, but is affected by the properties of the system making the measurement. If we describe the true function by f of x, and the properties or response function of the measurement system by g of x, then what we measure is c of x, which is given by the convolution of the functions f of x and g of x. f of x and g of x in this case are both rectangular functions and c of x has sloping sides. The mathematical definition of convolution is given at the bottom of the slide. It involves the integral of the product of the two functions but with the introduction of a dummy variable, in this case u. Very simply we slide one of the functions over the other and plot the degree of overlap in the region where they are both non-zero as a function of their horizontal displacement, in which this case is given by x. Convolutions and Fourier transforms are linked by the convolution theorem, which we'll meet in the lectures. Convolutions can be very difficult to calculate, and only a very small number can be calculated exactly. Typically, a computer is used to find a numerical result. The following shows results from an online app that allows you to select various input functions and then plots their convolution. You'll see one function sliding over the other, and at each position the app calculates a value which is related to the degree of overlap between the two functions. This is plotted to give the convolution which is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Here we'll use the app to calculate the convolution of two rectangular functions. These are shown at the top of the screen. When I press play, the red function will be displaced to the left and then slid through the black function and at the bottom of the screen it'll plot the overlap as a function of the displacement. You can see now the functions start to overlap and now there's no overlap and so we see we get the rectangular function but with sloping sides as we saw previously. Here we'll look at a more complicated example and that's the convolution of two triangular functions. Again, when I press play, the red function will be slid over the black function and the program will calculate the overlap, which it will plot in the lower panel. The actual value of the overlap is displayed in the middle screen. Again, what we can see is that the convolution of the two functions in this case looks very different from the original two functions.